Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial um, on how to use the dynamic paint which is a new feature of Blender 2.6 and the particle settings to create a cool effect of snow piling up on the ground. Basically all you need to do is add a plane and scale it up. I'm going to scale it up by 10. If you tab into edit mode um, hit W on your keyboard and then hit subdivide and change the number of cuts to 100 that will then give us a nice high poly mesh if we tab out of that um, and then add another plane and I'll just scale that up again by 10 and then grab it up the Z axis so we now got a ground and a uh, sky which will be our, our particle emitter all we need to do is just select the ground first of all and head over to the physics tab and click dynamic paint and then add canvas and now the only changes we need to make here are change the surface type from paint to displace and then the displacement factor needs to be changed from 1 to probably around about minus 0 0.1 should be right for now um, you will need to fine tune these settings for your animation um, or setup as as you um, as you want it. So if I now, with that all set up, if I select the top plane and head over to the particles tab, click the plus icon to add a new particle setting. Um, I'm not going to make any changes here whatsoever. I'm going to just leave all this as default. If you want to make your snowfall look realistic I recommend you go over to blenderguru.com um, Andrew has got a really good tutorial he did on uh, how to make snow look uh, realistic um, uh, in Blender 2.5 but everything still applies in 2.6 um, so yeah ha check that uh, tutorial out it's, it's really good you can um, there's a lot of uh, neat tricks in there um, yeah so with that particle system set up if we now go back to the physics uh, tab and click dynamic paint change it from canvas to brush and then add brush the only thing we need to do here is change the mesh volume to particle system and then select the particle system that we just added uh, I'm also just going to slightly change the solid radius ever so slightly and also the smooth radius um, and now if I hit Alt A on my keyboard uh, to start the animation you see that as the particles are hitting uh, this mesh it's uh, making it, it displace upward but I'm going to just select that uh, plane and click smooth that way you've got a nice uh, smooth um, sort of snow like texture on there um, that's going to be it for this tutorial uh, it's a, just showing you the basic principles uh, of how to use dynamic paint in this way um, I hope you guys can find it useful